All right, straight ahead, we'll get to this lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pounds. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up at 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweight say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here too. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the game. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, break the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for The fighters touch gloves. in this arena is palpable. Bruce Lee and Khabib Nurmagomedov ready to go here tonight. But let's be clear, Bruce Lee has never fought a grappler on the level of Khabib Nurmagomedov. No, he's never seen anything like this. Bruce Lee has had some tremendous battles. 
over his career. But he is facing someone in Habib Nurmagomedov, who is an absolute savage. Habib gets his hands around you, and you are going to the ground. But what can you expect? This is a young man that spent his childhood grappling with bears. So it does not matter how strong you are. Bruce Lee does not feel like Habib's little friend that he used to wrestle all the time. Well, Bruce Lee's got a better sprawl than you think, but it will be tested here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Beautiful kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Just over three minutes to go. And they separate. Nice. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Namago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Mago Manov gets hit with a kick. Big punch from the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Good body work with that hook by Lee. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Just missed with the left there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Tags him with the left hand. Nurmago Medov gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storm. 20 seconds to go. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, switch kick. How good was that? He switches the hips really fast and gets that leg up real quick to the target. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience. Oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Unable to land with that punch. And they separate. I mean, that right hand landed square. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. 
Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. 90 seconds remain in the round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Twenty seconds left. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you stand up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, collar tie. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Can't take many of those. You better check. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. And both guys really throwing with authority. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right hand puts the slip. Oh, the uppercut is there for him yet again. Out of range with that kick attempt. Duffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuff the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand punch from the clinch. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side, because otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Liver kick. 
And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the center. I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fight. Blocks the shot. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. While he continues to find the openings tonight, beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Single collar tie now. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Oh, and big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got it. He got it. Lee's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Back to the feet now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Under a minute now to go. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Nurmagomedov gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. All right, close guard now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. That pace up, wow, I'm impressed. You really broke him down with your striking. Keep that going. Your inside low kick is awesome. Fifth and final round. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Real sneaky body kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nurmagomedov's inner thigh starting to bruise up pretty good now. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just that is his biggest strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lane. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Keep it 
Busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lee gets up and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. He's gotta put everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's gonna end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He's mixed up. Whoa! He's hurt. Throws him up. Look in. Oh, oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he